I gotta go sell another water feature, so I'm trying to stay clean. Work in the office. I put some plastic bags on my feet to try to keep them totally muddy. Good morning, good morning. We are out here starting our day at our wonderful shop. We are getting ready to start a really, really cool project. It is gonna be a recreational pond up in Ankeny, Iowa. Um, it's, it's big. It's gonna be uh, 50 by 30-ish is just a pond. We're gonna have a big six foot deep swimming section. There's gonna be other parts of it that are gonna be two, four feet, somewhere in that range. We're gonna have a nice like flagstone bottom so you can jump in and push off. We have a wetland filter, a big intake bay. We've got some decorative waterfalls for circulation to kind of push everything across. So that's the project we're gonna get started here shortly. Chris Thompson here with Just Said Water, getting ready to get started on one of our next projects. So here's reference, I'm up on the porch or on their back deck, looking down on the project right here. I'll just go over what we got going on here. So this patio right here, uh, we got started yesterday, started to do some demo work. This is all gonna come out. They're gonna have a different patio here, but pond size, our pond's gonna go from about here to there. Come across the yard, to like right there, right over here. Um, but right in this area, we're gonna have some stones. Here we go, these floating uh, jumping stones. We have big slabs of stone that come out, go out. We're gonna be six feet deep. This is gonna kind of cantilever out over that. So that's gonna be right off here, right in this area. Um, we also have planned stairs going down the bottom. Um, so we're gonna work some stairs right in. Pond edge is about right where this patio ends right now. We're gonna work some stairs down in to the pond right around in this area, that deeper area. Uh, over here where the scalers parked at, uh, there's gonna be a big sand beach in that area. Um, just to the left of it will be where we skim. Our, we're gonna do an intake bay skimmer. So that's where we collect all of our uh, debris. Everything gets pulled to that corner. Um, up here where the big excavator's at, we're gonna build a berm, kind of wrap around this side of the pond. We'll have some big waterfalls there. Uh, we might actually move a wetland, but our wetland right now is planned for right in this area. We're gonna kind of fill this grade in, have a waterfall come back this way, dump in the pond, and then we'll have big waterfalls back here, dump into the pond. <music> build i don't have a fancy camera like connor so you can't see my pretty face but we got chris in the machine julian up there he's ripping up patio we got our first load of boulders coming in today um just kind of wanted to share what was going on what we're doing here is we're going to have a bottom suck pump back in this corner i'm actually in the bottom of the pond so we're going to have a bottom suck pump we're going to build a false floor with some aqua blocks have our pump housing back hidden in the wall so because we're so deep in this pond we need to circulate the total body of water so by doing that we're going to draw water down through our false floor and then we're going to be able to recirculate it back up top so that's what we're excavating here this big trench doo -doo -doo -doo, is you can see we have a lot of clay so we are actually going to drop a tile line under here uh, put some fabric down drop our tile in there put a bunch of two inch gravel in there and then we're going to we call it a little burrito go over there put a little bit of dirt on top of it and then we'll be ready for our fabric and liner this line here we're actually going to run a plumbing line into this bottom suck area because right here through this wall we're going to have a huge staircase that we're going to backfill with a bunch of gravel so we want to make sure we're having circulation in there we're not going to create just a big cesspool of death so we'll have a tile line running in behind our uh staircase and everything in our backfill of two inch river rock and this is actually going to pull water back through 
that tile line is actually going to come up through here and extend and you can't tell because i'm a little child and this is a deep pond but up back in there we're going to have a beach area and we're going to do the same thing we're going to circulate water through there so this pump that we are prepping for now is going to pull water through all of these thick aggregate areas you could call it um and then pump it out recirculate it here we are pond is excavated we have our top shelf second bottom shelf right now we're working on a tile line underneath the pond because we have so much clay soil that stamp pipe we're going to put a sump pump in there and then be re reuse the groundwater that we find in there it's big so we are 30 feet across 50 feet long so then the next portions that we need to excavate is back in here we'll have an intake bay and then over here we'll have a beach we have a 50 by 100 liner we're getting ready to put in here shortly as soon as this uh drain is done we'll get our fabric across and then we'll roll out the liner so we're putting a 50 by 100 liner in this pond we're about 10 minutes into it maybe we almost got it set so we just rolled it rolled it right up along that berm all the way down we're able to unfold it to about halfway and now we've just been pulling a little bit of time across the pond we want to get it farther we want it over here we got to get all these folds out of these shelves uh, just make sure we're maintaining water level we want a little bit extra on this side because that's where all of our waterfalls are coming in we might have to pull it back this way a little bit as well but very smooth so this is the beat or the steps will wants to put like a big monster or three and a half feet tall right here we wants a monster basically coming up one rock so it's got to be minimum of three and a half feet tall and then right above it he wants to do another one and we're two and a half foot deep right here he wants that one out of the water and it'd be a jump rock um pretty sure and then i want a big something that sticks out on the other side of the stairs almost like a sunning rock these are some big boys we got like 25 tons here and it's literally like 17 rocks yeah he's not even to the end of the rock over there and will's about four and a half feet tall so you know <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty cool thing the big boys i really like that one the wind wheels on it's really nice and flat it's gonna look massive in the future that's got some cool things on it hopefully this beast can pick it up but we'll find out job site check on the guys uh we got another load of rock today we got uh set started setting a couple stairs uh that boulder is about four foot tall it's a big old probably five six thousand pounds there's a four foot level not even quite to the top of it we got this one over here so what will's planning on doing we're gonna have stairs coming up six feet deep we have a path coming up this way he's gonna split it and have a big suntan rock right here take it out over to this section this is two and a half feet deep this is like the nursery area so he's gonna have another rock up in that area. Here's our false floor. You can see our drain underneath the liner right there. Culver standing up. We had about eight, nine inches of water in here this morning, 10 inches. It looked like a lot more earlier. You can see it's raining right now. Guys are kind of eating, taking cover. Connor's playing with his new friend. They found this guy. We put the liner in there Friday. It filled up, he already was in the pond playing. They found him when they drained him this morning. Connor likes turtles. Right. Look at this sweet rock. They're getting ready there. That's going to be actually to the, and the video is going to be left of the stairs. This is going to come out. This big flat top is going to be a jump rock. Water level is going to be about right there, I think, on it. That'll be jump rock sitting over the six feet of uh, the pond. Jump rock. They got it strapped up, I think, ready to go. Anyway, rock on, guys. <laughs>
66 feet long, average width of about 30. So you got waterfalls coming in here, here, pumps, there's the sand. So it's about six feet deep, water's right below those steps. It's a big project.